folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about a card that I think should be worth a thousand bucks. And not only because I have it, but I think it really deserves to be a thousand bucks or more. Especially if you look at the serialized cards that are selling for thousands and thousands of bucks, dollars, euros, whatever you want. Uh, I think this card definitely should sell for at least the same amount because it's a very special card you can see here unfortunately there are some roller lines on this card and i didn't know when i bought the card i bought this card from three for one trading i will show you which card it is you can already guess i think looking at the page in the unlimited binder yes it is an unlimited card it is classified as excellent uh, condition is classified as excellent and it is a wheel of fortune I've been looking for this one for quite a while. It's difficult to find a Wheel of Fortune in good condition because it's a very playable card and it has been played back in the day. I do have a revised one. At a certain point, the, re the revised ones already went up to like six, seven, eight hundred bucks and the unlimited ones went for uh, around a thousand. So it was already there, even more in a condition like this. But the artwork is very old school and fantastic and the prices unfortunately have dropped a bit at least of course not unfortunately for if you want to get the card but in general i think a card like this deserves to be an all-time favorite for everybody because it's good in every format it's good in old school it's good in uh, vintage it's good in um, commander I think uh, these kind of cards where you just get seven new cards, doesn't matter how many you have in your hand, are just unique and exceptional. Don't underestimate these kind of cards. Comparison, direct comparison. Yes, I'm talking very quickly today because <laughs> my wife said I need to get this video done before dinner. The uh, direct comparison between... Comparison. Comparison between <laughs> revised and the unlimited version. I think the unlimited version obviously is much more vibrant. The colors are stronger, deeper, um, and better visible. The red is really, yeah, popping out. The revised one is nice as well, but as all revised cards, it's a little more uh, flat. I really, really like this card. I played it back in the day, and like I said, it wasn't easy to find an unlimited one, yeah. Um, that's the only thing, like I said, 3 for 1 is very good when it comes to grading their cards and uh, mentioning their condition. And they always mention if a card has roller lines. And you can clearly see the roller line here, uh, which is a shame, and even one down there as well. Um, I, I don't mind, but I would have liked to know, because I paid good money for this card, and this good money didn't include the fact that it has roller lines. I will tell you what I paid for the card in a minute. I always do. I'm very transparent with this. And I think there needs to be more transparency when it comes to old card. Uh, old card. Old cards <laughs> in general. To this old card and other old cards in general as well. Let's double sleeve this baby and then it will go into the binder. And I am very happy. It's another slot that I can cross off the list for the unlimited set. These kind of cards, they are just they are just fantastic. They are good in every format. They are good in vintage. They are good in commander. They are good in every deck you play because if you uh, empty your hand and you know uh, you got this in your hand and of course you can counter it. But uh, yes, you... Um, actually can replenish your hand and maybe even get rid of some cards in your opponent's hand that he or she planned to attack you with. Um, I love I love Wheel of Fortune. I'm happy I found this one. Uh, I have to see about the Roller Alliance. I, I contacted 3 for 1. Let's see uh, what they can do for me because I think that should have been mentioned. But for the rest, the card indeed is in excellent condition. Um, and like I said, it has been a card that has been played a lot. So it is difficult to find. I hope the volume doesn't go up and down. I'm, I'm trying to stay as close to the microphone as I can. Uh, I get that remark sometimes, but that's because I'm so enthusiastic and I'm moving around while recording this. Doesn't matter. Folks, 
Why do I think this should be a card for a thousand bucks? Because I think these kind of cards are more unique than you can imagine. I think they are not only unique gameplay wise, but they are unique in their appearance and in their rarity and uh, they disappear into collections. Uh, you, I've been looking for this card for a couple of years now and I'm looking every day basically at matching the gathering cards. And you can buy a played one for three, four hundred bucks unlimited. You can buy a revised one for around 250 to 300 bucks, depending on the condition. Um, I think I mentioned before that the prices went up uh, before uh, the big drop uh, after the 30th anniversary edition. And um, this card was about to be the most expensive card in revised, more expensive than the Dual Lands, more expensive than an Underground Sea or Tundra or Volcanic Island was really up there and unlimited was virtually non-existent in the market because everybody wanted to get uh, get one in the long run if you look at the prices either nobody cares anymore about old cards fair enough uh, I do and I know many people who do but I can imagine newer players don't care um, on the other hand if I look at my kids, they know what a Black Lotus is. It depends on the people who you play with. And they actually are in awe if, it is, um, if the binder uh, is put on the table and we flip through it. I think younger players know as well what these kind of cards do, especially if they are usable in Commander. And I think if you compare it to the prices of, for example, serialized card cards or some other cards i mean cards that are not on the reserved list are a couple of hundred bucks sometimes uh, a couple of thousand bucks and of course this is a card or these are like a few cards only i know because magic the gathering definitely has a problem with reprinting and serialized of course you can't reprint but if you look at uh, the more valuable cards they they definitely go down in value over time because there is a lot of reprinting going on, but the love for these old cards will will not die uh, as long as Magic the Gathering will not die. It's very simple. It's part of the game, and it's a unique part of the game. I think these cards are still uh, a good addition to my collection, and I don't see them as an investment. I don't care if it goes to a thousand bucks or if it goes to fifty bucks. I bought, I think, the revised one for three hundred bucks. Now it's two fifty. Um, still okay uh, but officially I lost 50 bucks and I bought this one the unlimited one for 600 dollars 600 euros I have to say but you get what I mean 600 bucks honestly pretty expensive card of course but it's two collector boxes so yeah I, I rather have this than two newer collector boxes, but that's me. Let me know in the comments, folks, what you think about these kind of cards. Do you think they deserve to be over a thousand bucks? Do you think no cards should be over a thousand bucks, as a lot of people, of course, do, who are in the game piece faction? It doesn't matter what your opinion is. Every opinion is valued here, and I'm curious to hear it, so please let me know in the comments. Folks! Stay healthy, stay frosty. Thanks a lot for listening. I talk to you next time. Bye-bye.